Would you rather be you right now or the CEO of Google? Well, I'm thrilled to be CEO of Microsoft. <laughs> When you think about cool companies, it's likely that you don't think about Microsoft. Its gadgets aren't as shiny and cutting edge as Apple's. Its products aren't as user friendly as Google's. It's not a consumer company. Its main focus is on businesses. This could explain why Microsoft is often associated with one word, boring. But these boring business deals have resulted in a boring, quiet success. This trillion dollar company has more subscribers than Netflix. It has more cloud computing power than Google, and if all goes according to plan, it will soon have more traffic than any other search engine on the web. Microsoft recently purchased ChatGPT for $10 billion. It's an AI software that can answer your questions like a human. Actually, it's capable of doing almost anything a real person can do. It explains complex topics. It writes emails, poems, songs, and code. It tells jokes and holds conversations. The software racked up more than 100 million users within the first two months of its release. This makes it the fastest growing consumer application in history. And now it belongs to Microsoft. So here's the plan. Microsoft purchases ChatGPT. Microsoft adds ChatGPT to its search engine Bing and its browser Edge. Word spreads that Bing and Edge can answer questions like a human. People try the new AI features and they keep returning. Meanwhile, Microsoft is adding this technology to all of its products, including its operating system, Windows. This may seem like a desperate attempt by Microsoft to revive its boring search engine, but it's worth noting that the company isn't just jumping on a random trend. Microsoft has been investing in and experimenting with AI for quite some time now. This is evidenced in its wide range of AI powered products such as Azure, Microsoft 365 and Windows. In fact, in 2016, Microsoft released a chatbot called Tay. Tay wasn't exactly a friendly chatbot, so Microsoft decided to shut it down. But in 2019, Microsoft quietly invested $1 billion into OpenAI and OpenAI is the company that created chat GPT. The most interesting thing about this type of technology is that it goes against Moore's law. Moore's law suggests that there should be a linear improvement in technology every two years. But with AI, improvement isn't linear. Improvement is exponential and it moves at lightning speed. This means that at any moment, Microsoft could leapfrog over Google and take its spot as the number one search engine. While Microsoft has everything to gain, Google has everything to lose. Google has responded to ChatGPT with its own AI software. It's called BARD. However, it's off to a rough start. During its public demo, Bard answered a question incorrectly, and it's evident that investors weren't impressed. Immediately after the event, Google shares started to decline. This resulted in Google's parent company, Alphabet, losing $100 billion in market value in one day. As Microsoft checks items off of its to-do list, the results are slowly unfolding. The word is spreading that Bing and Edge have new technology and at present, millions of people have joined a wait list to try out their newest features. Microsoft's CEO Satya Nadella says this is the moment he's been waiting on for years. Microsoft happens to be in the right place at the right time, and it likely has the right product. Would you rather be you right now or the CEO of Google? Well, I'm thrilled to be CEO of Microsoft. <laughs> All right, the, the car of humanity is at a crossroads. To the left is dystopia, to the right is utopia. The blinker is on. Which way is it pointing? It's utopia. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And why not watch another one?